In this video, we are going to study about phylum Porifera of animal kingdom, which is mostly known as sponges. Where do you find sponges? So, sponges are generally marine, but they can be found in fresh water also. As you can see, spongula is a fresh water sponge. Symmetry, they are mostly asymmetrical, but uh, they can have various symmetry. Now, let's see level of body organization of poriferans. Although all members of animal kingdom are multicellular, not all of them exhibit the same pattern of arrangement of cells or organization of cells. Like in sponges, uh, it is cellular level of organization of cells that is the cells are arranged as loose aggregates there is some division of labor occurring between the cells now let's see embryonic layers also known as germinal layers in porifera poriferans are diploblastic which means the cells are arranged in two embryonic layers that is ectoderm and endoderm what is coelom Coelom is a body cavity present between body wall and gut wall of organism and this body cavity is lined by mesoderm. Coelom is not present in poriferans. Thus, they are acelomata or acelomates. Digestive system is absent in poriferans as they exhibit cellular level of body organization. Digestion is intracellular. Now what do you mean by intracellular digestion? So intracellular digestion is breakdown of substances within the cytoplasm of cell. Poriferans have no excretory system, no respiratory system and no circulatory system. Sponges have water transport or canal system so I am drawing a sponge or poriferin and the minute pores present on the body wall are ostia and a larger pore at the top is osculum this is a longitudinal section of a sponge and these are spicules or spongin fibers. So the body of a sponge is supported by a skeleton made of spicules also known as spongin fibers. The central body cavity of sponge is called spongocele. Spongoseal and the canals are lined by collar cells. Collar cells are also called as coanocytes. Water enters through ostia in the body wall into the central cavity spongocele and it goes out through osculum. This pathway of water transport is helpful in gathering food, respiratory exchange and removal of waste. This water transport or canal system is helpful in gathering food, respiratory exchange and removal of waste in sponges. Sponges show both asexual and sexual reproduction, asexual by fragmentation and sexual reproduction by formation of gametes.
there is no sexual dimorphism that is sexes are not separate so eggs and sperms are produced by the same individual so we call such individuals as hermaphrodite fertilization is internal with indirect development of offspring in which there is a larval stage a stage which is morphologically distinct from adult let's see examples of phylum porifera so this is spongilla a freshwater sponge this is sicon also known as sypha this is euspongia also known as bath sponge so that's it for this video